Hello everybody! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix another error in a Windows operating system. If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Anyone working with a computer may see certain errors from time to time. They often appear after various system issues and the list of possible causes could go on forever. All those errors make our work less comfortable and sometimes bring it to a stop as we have to find a way to fix them. In this video, we'll examine all possible causes of this error and consider all known methods of fixing it. Most often, you can see this error when the operating system is updated automatically or manually. Besides, you can easily face this error code when trying to start an application. Actually, the possible causes of such problems vary from unexpected behavior of your antivirus program to consequences of important data being damaged in the system partition. So, let's have a closer look at why it happens. The first thing to bring this error code to your screen is the antivirus you have on your PC. Antiviruses tend to feel at home in your operating system, and sometimes they demonstrate a really disorderly behavior. It includes blocking Internet access for update services or preventing you from starting certain programs. You can solve this problem with moderate measures like disabling active protection and firewall, if these are included into the antivirus package, or go nuclear and remove this particular piece of software for the time when you need to update the operating system. Just open the antivirus and suspend it temporarily, and disable the firewall for some time. Learn more about turning the firewall off or on in one of our videos linked below. Disable VSS services is another cause behind this error. VSS is the shadowing service that allows backup applications to safely backup files which are being used by other processes or programs. If it's disabled, some background operations may encounter errors. To start the service, open the Services window with the help of the Search function. Look for the service Volume Shadow Copy and check its status. If it's stopped, right-click on it and select Start. If the Status column says Running, click Restart and then reboot the computer. Check if the same error appears. The third cause that may generate this error is a TCP IP failure. Most update operations involve connecting to the Internet via TCP IP. If this protocol fails, you may see this error code. In that case, solve the problem by resetting the protocol settings with a special command. To do it, Launch the command prompt as administrator and type the following command. And press Enter. When the process is over, restart the computer. The fourth cause is attributes of the system folder. Every disk in a Windows computer contains a special folder entitled System Volume Information, holding certain data about its partitions and file system. If it has an attribute read only, the processes that require writing data to this directory will show you this error. To fix this issue, go to the system drive, the disk where the operating system is installed. Open the tab View options to modify folder settings. Switch to the tab View and disable the option to hide protected operating system files, then click Apply and OK. Now, find the folder in question, right-click on it and open its properties. Uncheck the box next to read-only attribute. Please note that uh, this checkbox doesn't have to be empty. Even this status is good for what you do. After all, when you close the properties window, this type of mark will be applied automatically. Now that the modification is over, click Apply and close the window. 
Another cause behind this problem is a failure when downloading update files. In Windows operating system there is a directory with the name Software Distribution, where all downloaded updates can be found. If the Internet connection is interrupted or an error occurs while the update is being downloaded and copied, update packages may get damaged. Meanwhile, the operating system thinks the files have been downloaded successfully, so it will try using them. To solve the issue, just clean this folder. To do it, open services with the help of the search function, then find and stop the service Windows Update. Right-click on it and select Stop. In the same way, stop the background intelligent transfer service. Now go to the Windows folder and open the folder in question. Select all of its elements and delete them. To make sure they are removed successfully, empty the recycle bin. You can do it with a special app or manually. Right-click on the bin icon and select Empty Recycle Bin. Visit our channel for a detailed video tutorial on cleaning a computer from junk files. Now restart the computer. One more cause of the error involves access permission. This error may appear because of wrong access permission settings for modifying important parts and strings of the system registry. Trying to configure these settings manually may have unpredictable consequences. Luckily, there is utility to help you do it. As long as it's not included into the operating system by default, you should download and install it. Visit the Microsoft website for download. In the root directory of disk C, create a folder with the name of this utility. Run the installer you have downloaded in advance and click Next in the first window. Accept the license agreement. Click Browse. From the list, select disk C, click on the folder you have just created and click OK. Run the installer. When the process is over, close the installer. You had to modify the installation path, because later you will need to write a script to manage the registry, and this script will use this specific address. By default, the address is quite long and there is a risk you may misspell it when typing. To make things worse, the default path also includes spaces, which means you would have to use quotation marks, and all of that may result in an unpredictable behavior of the utility. That is why the variant I used is much safer. All right. Now that we've finished with the installation, let's move on to scripts. Open Notepad, which is a Windows standard app, and type the following code. Now click on the File menu and select Save As. Choose all files and give this script any name you like, but with the extension BATBAT, and save it to a convenient location. Before using this bad file, take a precaution and create a system restore point, so that you can always roll the operating system back in case anything goes wrong. Learn more about creating a restore point and rolling back the operating system by watching another video in our channel. Find the link below as usual. Now run this file as administrator and restart the computer again. If this method doesn't work, create and use one more bad file containing the following code. Don't forget about the restore point. Here is an important thing to consider. If you see access denied or access violation errors when running these scripts in the command prompt, it means the actual registry settings in your computer are correct, and you should look for other methods to fix the problem. Another cause behind this error might be damaged system files. There are the system files in charge of correct update processes or the ones that start the environment for running certain programs. 
In such case, all you can do is to try restoring them with the help of a specialized system utility. Launch the command prompt as administrator and run the following command. SFC scan now. The SFC tool restores the system files which are not write protected at the moment. It works even in the situations when the damage is so heavy that Windows can't boot. However, this operation requires a USB flash drive, which you need in to use in order to boot into recovery mode. One more thing behind this problem is viruses. Malware remains the eternal problem for all Windows users. Such malicious programs can damage or lock system files, modify the registry settings and cause various errors or failures. If none of the methods in this video help you fix this error, well, it's high time to check your computer for malware and if there are any viruses, remove them for good. The last of the known causes of this error is hard disk issues. You should also consider the possibility of system disk errors. Windows features an integrated tool to find and fix such problems. On the other hand, you can use specialized third-party tools as well. Visit our channel for a detailed video tutorial on fixing hard disk errors. Just check the link below. Finally, the last resort in dealing with this error is restoring the operating system or reinstalling Windows. It's quite difficult to give universal advice on prevention of this error, but still, there are a few rules to reduce your chances of seeing it one day on the screen. First of all, make sure you have reliable antivirus protection. Secondly, try not to use cracked software, especially the products that install their own drivers or services, or try to modify system and network settings in general. Finally, don't change elements of the system folders, registry settings and operating system settings unless you really have to do it and only after you realize what exactly you are doing and what the consequences might be like. And that is all for now. I hope this video helped you to fix the error. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Push the bell button to receive notifications and never miss new videos. Leave comments to ask questions and share your opinion. Thank you for watching and good luck!